Hello, hello, magical Monday, magical Monday, here we are, magical Monday. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> if you can tell I'm a few minutes late, I went live already and then all chaos kind of broke loose over here, so I had to hop out and uh, welcome, thank you for jumping back on with me and uh, I'm so excited to be here with you guys. I'm. But, but there's only one more. There's then just rewatch him. Box. Just rewatch him. Sorry about that. But. So today we are doing. Then find another one. And uh, sorry. Find a different show. <laughs> I had to. Uh, get them on a show. We haven't done media for the last two weeks. We watched like one movie when uh, my husband came to visit, but um, otherwise we were media free and I tried to hop on Facebook Live without media, as you know I have done before. And ah! so today, Magical Monday, so for the last two weeks I've gotten so many insights and downloads and fun things that uh, I'm so excited about sharing with you. And I really wanted to bring back Magical Mondays with the Mundane to Magical deck. So this is the Mundane to Magical deck. You can see some of the pictures. And each of these pictures has a word on it. And then on the back is just kind of like an inspired message that I got about the word. But the purpose and what these were really created for... Um, was to implement the parenting and spiritual practices that I wanted to integrate into my life. And I was having a really hard time remembering all of them. And so I created this deck to help myself and all of you, the women in the tribe, to implement um, things that we really care about. Um, so the card I shuffled and the card that I came up with today was simplicity. So simplicity for me is really all about paring down, <clears throat> only looking at what is absolutely essential. Um, and one of the biggest insights that I got <clears throat> over the past two weeks was spending time in the truth spending time in the what is real and obviously so much of our life so much of the news and the media and what we see online and what we're kind of bombarded with through our society um, is not real is not the truth and so when I picked this card this morning, I went, ah, oh, simplicity. Of course, simplicity is so true. Simplicity is so being, right? And with the past two weeks, I've had a lot of insights with relationships, which um, the Creating Your Magical Life Sisterhood is all about relationships. It's literally the title is Releasing the Relationship Curse. That's going to be this Wednesday. If um, you've been struggling with relationships a lot and are just really trying to find that final release of this curse that you feel like you're under, the Creating Your Magical Life Sisterhood is all about that this week. So that's going to be really exciting. And uh, you can sign up if you haven't already for the sisterhood at MagicalMothering.com or look into it more if you feel like that's something that you are excited about. So simplicity is really for me about remembering our magic, remembering that we are magical beings. And what does being a magical being look and feel like? Well, it's for me, it's really a way of creating that space, of seeing the truth that, wow, I am powerful. I am magical. My thoughts literally create my world. And uh, if you're on my email list, you got a email this morning all about kind of the insights that I got over the past two weeks, or some of them. And the big, big insight that I got this, uh, this past two weeks was control. I realized that a lot of my frustration whenever I raised my voice, whenever I got upset, it was all because I was trying to control. 
And I, I differentiate control and expectations in my life because I've really been working, as you know, if you've been listening to uh, me for a while, that I'm really all about releasing all expectations, right? And really just being in the moment and seeing what pops up. And yet, even though I was able to release my expectations, I was still holding so tight on to control. So as a final day of our of our little vacation yesterday, um, my husband and the kids and I went to the beach. And so I wrote control in the sand. And I just put all this intention into that sand writing. And I said, I am ready to release it. And I just got to wash. I got to watch the waves wash away that writing. And it was as if the, the whole universe just took that control out of me finally. And I get the chills when I say that because it's, it's really exciting for me to do these, these really simple ritualistic actions with intention and seeing how they manifest in life. So um, if you're on live, I would love to say hi and see who's on. So please type in hello. Uh, let me know how you're doing, where you're listening from, um, what's going on in your head today. And um, if simplicity is uh, connecting with you at all in this moment. So and so I ha I feel like I have so much that I and I'm excited to share it all but really the biggest and most amazing things that I really gathered and I want to share with you all today is that you're magical that you are an amazing magical being and that is really where the name magical mothering came up is that you you have it within you you have the power you have all that you need within you and when we look at that really simply and we look at that through that that lens of simplicity it really can be so simple I think often we think of things as being so difficult and so oh it's never gonna be there so um, we will be starting the discover your rhythm three month journey this week um, I was going to start it next week, but we're going to start this Friday. And if you guys need more time and we need to start next next Friday, just let me know. If you're going, I really want to join, but I need another week to sign up, um, let me know. Uh, I tried to give some people some time uh, while I was gone. And um, so let me know if you need a little bit more time before we start the Discover Your Rhythm. PM me or email me. Um, and let me know if you would like to be joining that, but you need another week to be able to sign up. So there is, it's $147 for three months. This is a group mentoring. You have a private Facebook group. We'll go through um, six main lessons with um, really detailed step-by-step. -step. You will be, I will, we'll be holding each other's hand through this whole process. Um, and then there's also a payment plan of $55 per month if you're not able to come up with the 157 um, and then I have five 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 spots left to uh, if you sign up for one-on-one -on -one mentoring with me you will be able to get into the discover your rhythm three-month program but I only have five spots left so if you were thinking of doing one-on-one -on -one mentoring anyway and you've been kind of like on the fence about it, now is the time to do it because you're going to get an amazing three-month program as well as one-on-one -on -one mentoring through that. Okay? So those are kind of the details out of the way. And I am just so excited to be back with you. I mean, you guys, I really, really, really um, felt and was able to connect and realize how very special this group is because of the fact that I can I mean I missed just knowing that there was these friendships I actually met with one of the moms um, two of the moms actually came out this week that over the two weeks that lived and wanted to come visit um, while I was away moms that I had met only because of this magical mothering group and I find it so inspiring that um, each of us are connected in this group because of what we value and what our intentions are for life and what we really want to create and spread and heal within us 
to help heal with outside of us. So um, I realized that my new goal for maybe the rest of my life, no, I don't know, for over the next couple years though, my goal is to personally meet one-on-one, -on -one, or not one-on-one, -on -one, but personally meet every single person in this magical mothering group. Yeah? I mean, I would love, love that. And after just meeting, I've met like a dozen women in real life through this magical mothering group. And I find that so exciting. So I really want to start ramping up uh, my traveling, and I'd love to start camping and having retreats. This is all kind of really, really in my heart space, but I can't hold retreats without anybody. Um, I would love to see what kind of interest there is because I really feel like that connection is so much more vital when we can meet in a, in, you know, in a physical space. So this is something I'm really excited about and I'm trying to get a feel for how it's even possible. I have this big giant vision in my head of getting a magical mothering travel trailer and just traveling all over the United States and then eventually Canada and Mexico and um, who knows where else. But um, if that sounds fun for you, I'd love to hear from you and um, see about possibly getting that started next year and uh, having that be part of my big 2018 goals of getting this magical mothering on the road. Um, so what is, what is new with you? I know that, um, I've, I, like I said, I've had so many insights that they're almost hard to put into words yet. I wrote a couple emails and those will be coming at you. And, um, but I'd really love to hear from you and what's going on in your life. So let's, uh, we're going to keep this theme of simplicity and we'll kind of do each of the topics around these Facebook lives around our Magical Monday theme. And that way we can just get a little bit more focused. We'll have the uh, taboo topic tomorrow and uh, Wilderness Wednesday, Thoughtful Thursday, and then Fun Friday. And, um, and just a heads up that on Fun Friday, um, I will be more mindful about uh, creating a post for people to share about their uh, businesses or blogs or what's going on in their guys' lives. So that way we can keep that contained. Um, I know that the feed kind of filled up while I was gone um, with a lot of business stuff. So thank you, Lonise, for taking care of that and really being on top of that. So that's it for today. I'm just so, so grateful to be back really be um, mindful of the simplicity. And um, I started a new 30 day month. If you haven't done the ultimate rhythm, the ultimate monthly rhythm planner, I think it's called, um, print out that monthly worksheet and start filling it out again. We don't have to end just because the 30 day challenge ended two weeks ago doesn't mean that it has to be over, right? So if that's something that really created a lot of insight and awareness, let's keep that going. If you need more support about it, post your picture of your, your month. Start, continue to track your feelings, continue to track what it's doing with the moon and what it's doing with everything. So um, I'm really excited and encouraged by the support of this group and by the love that I feel from all of you and the love that I have for all of you. And I really missed this. I missed connecting with each of you over the past two weeks. And I was so excited to come home on Saturday and just, hi, I missed you. You know, it's like, ah, oh. the whole, the energy of this whole group is so amazing to me. And if, um, I would love for, um, all of us to share our insights. I would really love for this group to be about acknowledging the insights that we're getting, the growth that we're doing, <clears throat> the work that we're doing as magical mothers. I don't think that there's very many places out there right now that are really focused on what, what awareness did you get today? What insight did you get today? What did you learn the past week? I would really love for this group to be that. So I actually am going to be changing um, the description of the group because I got a lot of insight about 
what this space really is. It's not so much, um, there's plenty of other moms groups, right? There's plenty of business groups. There's plenty of things like that. But I really want this group to focus on our awareness, our healing, our journey, and really sharing and inspiring each other through that. Whether you feel like you're far along on the journey or that you're just starting out and going, I don't really have a journey. I don't know what this is. Um, anything that we learn when we share our stories, it creates transformation in everyone. And I've shared that, you know, our healing journey travels in generations back and goes generations forward. So it's not just us. It's not just us that is having this healing journey, even though that's really the only thing that we need to focus on. We only need to focus on our own journey because that's the only journey we can have. Big insight I learned um, is not letting other people's journey affect our journey, not letting our partner's journey, where we don't need to take our partner's journeys um, personally anymore. We don't need to take our children's journeys personally anymore. We can have, and really, if we put all of our intention and all of our focus on our own journey, on our own self-control, on our own growth, on our own rhythm, on our own emotions, that would take up all of the space that we have. And yet we're so focused on everybody else's journey that our own journey and our own healing is actually suffering because of it. So really allowing this space to be a personal documentation of all of us magical mothers and our healing journeys. And just like how I share with you guys through my emails, through these Facebook posts, um, through everything that I do, I really want this space to be a documentation and a diary for all of us to share our personal journeys. And um, let me know if that resonates with you because I really feel like that's what I've been called to do is just hold space so that everybody who is healing can actually share their own healing journey through this space. I don't feel like there's very many other spaces that... Um, really we can do that in a way that's safe and non-judgmental and in a in a way that we're not getting personal you know we're not feeling attacked by other people's journey that's not the point of this the point is for other people to have their journey and if we get an insight or an aha through their journey to go oh wow i that just saved me maybe years of being on this path right isn't that the the point if we can gather and glean from somebody else's experiences so we don't have to maybe struggle so much through learning um it the difficult way another huge lesson i got over the past two weeks stop struggling it doesn't have to be a struggle we can actually pull heaven down into earth and live in heaven on earth in our minds because that's where it is um so i'm gonna leave us with that and just thank you so much for being a part of my life. Thank you for being a part of this tribe. Um, thank you for letting me come home to something that I am so inspired and passionate and excited about being a part of. So peace and blessings to you. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. And tomorrow um, is Taboo Tuesday. So we will be talking about a taboo topic and how to kind of take it into ourselves to take care of ourselves more. So peace and blessings. I will see you all tomorrow.